At the corner of Charles and Fayette Streets in downtown Baltimore, the writing is on the wall. And how can we do something today and tomorrow to help spread love, to show that we support you know, peaceful protesting, that we encourage businesses and community to get involved. That question weighs heavily on Shalonda Stokes. She just started as the president of the Downtown Partnership of Baltimore. Her second day on the job, and she and her team got to work. We have painted 20-some buildings with hearts and love and peace and everything. The full team came out. Some of the downtown buildings are boarded up as a result of COVID-19, others because of the recent protests. And people come to downtown Baltimore because it's the heart, it's the core, and it allows a platform for people to have a voice. And so we wanted to be supportive of that voice. And Shalonda Stokes says offering a little love was a good way to do it. Before they started painting, they checked with property owners to make sure it was okay. The response was really positive. In fact, some even had a request. And then we got a call back from one who said, you know what, instead of just hearts and love and hope on my building, I want to make sure you put BLM Black Lives Matter. It's a temporary display for a long term commitment. This is not a permanent project. This is not us saying Baltimore is closed down. As a matter of fact, we see this as a transition. In downtown Baltimore, Megan Pringle, WBAL TV 11 News.